Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to make it snow in Photoshop. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so I will go ahead and open uh, Photoshop and then I will take the image I will be using and open it in here. Alright, now the first thing that we are going to do is to add a new layer so I'm gonna one click on this uh, new layer icon and then I'm gonna name it snow one all right now I will go to edit and I'm gonna choose fill and we're gonna fill it with a white color so in uh, the contents in here I'm gonna choose color and I will choose a white color in here and I will press ok and this will fill it with white now I will go to filter noise and I'm gonna add noise and uh, for the amount in here I'm gonna put 60% and uh, Gaussian in uh, the distribution and monochromatic is checked and I will press ok all right now I'm gonna press ctrl L so I can bring uh, the level adjustment and I'm gonna darken this uh, noise quite a bit so I'm gonna take this uh, mid tones and I would put it down to the right around 0 0.14 or 12 and then I'm gonna take this too and I will put it around 70 and I'll press ok alright now I will go to filter and I will choose filter gallery and let me zoom out a little bit so I'm gonna choose fit in view and in here uh, in this uh, sketch folder I will open it and I'm gonna choose tone edges and for the image balance I would put 30 uh, 13 in the smoothness and 20 in the contrast and I'll press ok all right now I'm gonna invert uh, this uh, layer in here so I'm gonna press ctrl I on my keyboard and as you can see this will turn whatever was white into black and whatever was black into white alright now I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to screen and as you can see we uh, starting to get this really soft uh, snow you can say uh, next I will go to filter uh, blur and I will choose Gaussian blur and I would give it 0 0.5 uh, radius pixels in here and I'll press ok just to blur it a little bit in the edges alright now I'm gonna make a copy of this uh, snow one layer so I'm gonna press ctrl J and I will name it snow two and then I'm gonna press uh, ctrl T as you can see this will uh, allow me to enter the transform mode and in the width in here I'm gonna put 300% and I will do the same for the height I would put 300% and then I would one click on this check mark and as you can see this will make the snow a little bit bigger and that's what we want now I will go to filter and I will go to sharpen and I will choose unsharp mask and in here in the amount I will put 500% and in the radius I will put 0 0.9 and I will keep 0 in the threshold in here and I will press ok alright now I will go to filter again and this time I will go to distort and I will choose wave uh, for this uh, I will make sure that the type is set to triangle and then I'm gonna uh, put 20 in the number of uh, generators and 230 in the minimum of the wavelength and 230 in the maximum of the wavelength and for the amplitude I will put 1 in the minimum and 3 in the maximum and I will keep uh, the scale set to 100 for the both of them in here and I will make sure that repeated edge pixels is set for the undefined areas in here and you can also uh, click 
on uh, the randomize in here so you can randomize the the rotation of uh, the snow and the is okay and you can see this will uh, make it rotate a little bit just to break that pattern as you can see now all right now i'm gonna duplicate this layer but we're not gonna use the ctrl j method so i'm gonna use another method so i will uh, press ctrl a to select the whole canvas and then i will go to layer new and i'm gonna choose layer via copy in here and you can see this will uh, make a new layer with the same snow in here all right and i will name it snow three and then i'm gonna do the same as i did for this snow two layer so i'm gonna press ctrl t so i will make it bigger and i will put 300 in the width in here and 300 percent in the height and then i will one click on this check mark to commit the change all right as you can see now uh, the snow starting to appear uh, more bigger now i'm gonna duplicate this snow three layer so i'm gonna press ctrl j this time and then i'm gonna name it snow four and then i'm gonna press ctrl t again and this time instead of putting 300 uh, percent i'm gonna put minus 200 percent in the width and minus 200 percent in the height and then i would one click on this check mark to commit the change all right as you can see now we have the snow going to the other way and now i'm gonna make a new copy of this snow for layer using the the selection method so i'm gonna press ctrl a to select the whole canvas and then i will go to layer new and i'm gonna choose layer via copy in here and as you can see this will put uh, the same visible snow that we have in the canvas in here in a new uh, layer in here and i will name it snow 5 and i will hide it for now and i will go back to the snow 4 layer and then i will go to filter and i will choose blur and lens blur all right for this i'm gonna make sure that uh, the depth map is set to none and then in the shape in here make sure that it's set to hexagon and i'm gonna change uh, the radius to 30 and for the blade curvature i'm gonna put 100 and 150 for the rotation in here and for uh, the brightness i'm gonna put 5 and 255 for the threshold and in the amount i will keep it zero and uniform for uh, the distribution and the monochromatic is unchecked and hope is okay now right, as you can see this will blur it a little bit but we're gonna uh, sharpen it a little bit so i will go to filter sharpen and i'm gonna choose unsharp mask and I will keep uh, the amount set to 500 but for the radius I'm gonna put it around 5 to 9 pixel so I'm gonna choose 6 pixels in here and the is ok alright now we'll go to filter again and then I'm gonna choose distort and I will choose wave and I will keep everything here the same as you can see and I'm gonna randomize it a little bit so I'm gonna click three or four times and I will press OK as you can see this will rotate uh, the snow a little bit and then I will go to the snow 5 layer in here and I will make it visible and I will go back to filter and I will choose blur and lens blur Alright, for this I'm gonna keep uh, the shape to hexagon but I'm gonna change the radius to 90 and the blade curvature I'm gonna also put 90 in here and for the rotation I'm gonna put 50 and in the brightness I will put 100 and 234 the threshold 
and I will keep uh, everything else the same and I will press OK. As you can see this will create this really cool kind of bouquet look uh, to the snow in here but I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit so I'm gonna put it around 70% and there we go we have a really cool snow effect in here that looks really cool and random. All right. Now if you want to delete some of this snow you can easily do that so we can just group all the snow layer in here so I'm gonna select them all and then I'm gonna press ctrl G to put them in a group and I will call it snow and then I'm gonna apply a, a layer mask on it so I will one click on this layer mask and I will grab a brush and using a black color I can easily delete for example uh, on the model uh, face in here I can delete all the snow from here so it would give it this really cool effect that it looks like the snow is going around the model in here and there you go as you can see we created this really cool snow uh, in here without using any brush or anything so this is before and this is after and you can also add a little bit of tones to the, the model image so I will select the background in here and then I will go to adjustment and I will choose levels and I will darken the mid tones a little bit just like that so the snow will appear a little bit more and I will decrease the whites a little bit and then I will go to the channels in here and I'm gonna choose the red channel and I will add a little bit in here and we'll do the same for the blue just like that and then I will select uh, the layer mask and using a black uh, brush I'm, I'm just gonna one click and then I'm gonna press ctrl T while I'm still on the layer mask and I will scale it quite a bit like this just like that and then I will one click on this check mark alright now I'm gonna invert this line mask I'm gonna press ctrl I and as you can see this will create this really cool vignette in here and I can also bring down the opacity a little bit around 75% and there we go we have this really cool effect in here so that will be all for this video i hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know show me out on instagram if you try this effect and have a nice day thank you for watching